Welcome to Flow with Addie. My name is Addie and I'm here to guide you through a 45 minute practice focusing on back, chest, and shoulder flexibility. Begin standing. With your next inhale, pull your shoulders up towards your ears and down and back along your spine. Inhale, lift, and exhale, roll down and back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Begin to make larger circles, drawing your elbows up towards your shoulders, down and back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Make even larger circles, keeping your arms straight, reaching your hands up as high as you can and back behind you as far as is comfortable. Inhale, reach up, exhale, down and back. As you move through these circles, keep your core engaged and we'll begin to reverse. Shoulder rolls around and forward. So pulling your shoulder blades back and together, lifting your shoulder blades up and rounding forward. For three, two, and one. Bring your elbows into it. Lift your elbows up and down. You have five, four, three, two, one. Moving into big circles, arms are straight. Or seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and shake out your shoulders. Hopefully, they're feeling warm. Drop your chin towards your chest. Begin to roll your head gently side to side, warming up into the muscles of your neck. As you roll your head side to side, bring more attention to your breath. Deep inhales and lengthy exhales. Keep your head to the left as you reach your right arm high. Drop your right arm, roll your head to the right side, and lift your left arm. Roll your head to the left, lift your right arm, and switch. Head to the right, left arm up. Switch. Switch. Switch, 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 switch. Keep your head to the right. Take both hands in a clasp behind your back and begin to open your chest. You should feel a stretch along the front of your chest and your shoulders, as well as a deeper stretch along the left side of your neck.
roll your head to the left side. Keep your hands in the clasp. Keep your hands clasped as you return your chin to center. Bend your knees, arch your back as you send your gaze high. Keep your hands clasped as you return to standing. Deep breath in and as you exhale, arch your back, bend your knees. Return to standing. Inhale and exhale, arch. Open your chest even more. Release. Deep breath in, arch your back, bend your knees. Keep your back arched as you straighten your legs, open your chest even more. Return to standing. Release your hands. Spread your fingers wide. Engage your abs as you bend into your knees and lean over forward. Send your weight back into your heels and press your hips backwards. Now, keep the same positioning in your lower body as you lift your upper body, send your gaze forward for a chair pose. Exhale and round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Lift. Round. Lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, lift, round. Hold here. Straighten your legs slightly more. Allow your head, neck, and shoulders to fall and relax as you take your hands at opposite elbows. Begin to rock your head left and right. up and down. Bring your hands towards the floor. Walk forward into a plank. Back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your toes. Bend your knees, reach your hands behind you. Inhale to chair, exhale rounded chair. Inhale, exhale, lift, round. Fold forward, walk forward into plank. Abs are tight, shoulders are strong. Downward facing dog, walk your hands back towards your toes. Bend your knees to rounded chair. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Lift, round. Lift, round. Lift, round. Forward fold. Plank. Plank. 
downward facing dog, back to forward fold. Rounded chair, inhale lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, forward fold, plank. Drop your knees and keep your elbows tucked into your sides as you lower all the way to the floor. Untuck your toes, press into your hands, cobra. Lower your chest, tuck your toes, reverse push up to plank. Downward facing dog, walk your hands back to your toes for forward fold. Bend your knees, rounded chair. Inhale, lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, forward fold. Walk your hands forward to plank. Keep your knees lifted as you lower halfway to the floor. Untuck your toes, lift your chest forward for upward facing dog. Roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your toes, forward fold. Inhale, chair, round, chair, round chair, round, chair, round, forward fold, plank, chaturanga, lower halfway, upward facing dog, engage your lower abs, downward facing dog, forward fold, rounded chair, Lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, lift, round, forward fold. Walk your hands forward to plank, flow through your chaturanga, meet in your downward facing dog. Walk your feet all the way up to meet your hands in forward fold. Take a generous bend in your knees as you take your hands behind your back in a clasp. Begin to straighten your arms to deepen the stretch. Straighten your legs a little more here. Bend your knees, sit your hips back towards a chair position with your hands clasped, then fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. And fold. Go ahead and release your hands to the floor. Drop your knees. Come to an all fours position with your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Begin to drop your belly. Inhale, look up. As you exhale, round your back. Begin to move through cat cows at your own pace.
keep your hips aligned over your knees as you slide your hands forward for puppy pose. Your forehead may come to the floor or maybe your chin if your shoulders are more open. You should feel the stretch in your shoulders and your upper back. Press into your hands, lift your chest just enough to release your left hand and slide it under your chest. Allow your shoulders to come back down and your head to turn to the right. Release to center and switch sides. Release to center. Sink into your puppy pose for one big inhale and exhale. Press into your hands as you roll yourself forward all the way to your belly. You'll bring your hands below your shoulders and begin to press into your hands, lift your chest, then lower. Cobra and release. Cobra release keep your abs engaged to protect your lower back keep your shoulders down and back as well cobra release cobra release cobra hold now drop your elbows keeping your elbows directly under your shoulders for a sphinx pose Sphinx pose is an active pose, so keep pressing down through the tops of your feet and pulling your elbows back towards your heels, so you're activating your upper back and your shoulder blades. Release your forehead towards the floor. Return to Sphinx. Press into your hands, then bring your right hand under your shoulder so that you can twist towards your right. Replace your right hand next to your left. Bring your left hand under your shoulder so you can twist towards your left. Return to center. Press into your hands, all the way back to your child's pose. Bring attention back to breath. Allow your shoulders to rest for a moment before you round yourself forward, bring your belly all the way down, moving through your cobra, and pressing into your hands all the way back to child's pose. Roll forward. Cobra. Roll back, abs are engaged. Child's pose. Take your time, forward. Back. Cobra. Childs. Cobra. Childs. Hold in your child's pose. Lift your chest just enough to weave your left arm under. Look to your right.
Move through center, switch sides. Look to your left. Return to center, drop your forehead. Press into your hands, return to all fours. Arch your back, inhale, look up. Exhale and round. Now begin to draw circles. Press your rib cage to one side, all the way down through center, over to the other. Really make these your own, make them as big as possible. Really work to release your upper back and as you drop your belly, pulling your shoulder blades together. Switch directions. Engage your abs, flatten your back, return to center. Take your hands wide of your mat and lower down into a push-up position. Back is flat, hips over your knees with your elbows at 90. Begin to press your chest to the right and draw a big circle up and around. Take your time with these, these can be difficult. You're working into your shoulder rotators. Switch directions. Hold low in the middle. Drop your left shoulder in and look to your right. Switch sides. Switch sides. Switch. Return to center, release your hands and bring your elbows to the floor. Take your hands together and drop your forehead or your chin for a puppy pose variation with your elbows bent. Release your arms straight, then press into your hands, bringing yourself to seated all the way back on your heels. Take a big roll in your shoulders as you inhale and look up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to heart center. Reach. Exhale. Reach, exhale, reach, exhale, 
reach, exhale. Come forward to all fours and tuck your toes up to a downward facing dog. On your next inhale, reach your right leg up high behind you. As you exhale, tuck that knee in towards your chest as you step your right foot between your hands. Rise high for high lunge. Open to your left for warrior two. Rotate your back heel down to the mat. Reach your right hand high, reverse warrior. Return to warrior two. Lift your back heel, high lunge. Take your hands in a clasp behind your back. Open your chest, pull your shoulder blades together. Lean forward so your right shoulder rests on your right thigh. Release your hands to the floor. Step back to plank and flow through your chaturanga to upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg. Lunge forward, high lunge. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. High lunge. Clasp your hands, open your chest. Lean forward so that your left shoulder meets your left thigh. Keep your hands high towards the ceiling. Hands to the floor, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Reach your right leg high. Lunge forward, high lunge. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. High lunge. Clasp your hands. Open your chest. Lean forward. Take a shoulder rinse. Hands down. Plank. Chaturanga. Flow through to downward facing dog. Left leg high. Lunge it forward, high lunge. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. High lunge. Clasp your hands, open your chest. Lean forward to a shoulder rinse. Hands down, plank, chaturanga, through upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high. Lunge it through, we have one more time each side. High lunge, warrior two. Reverse warrior, warrior two. High lunge, clasp the hands and lean forward. Hands down, flow through your chaturanga, meeting in downward facing dog. Left leg high, lunge it through, high lunge. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Warrior two, high lunge. Clasp your hands, lean forward. Take your hands down, step back to plank, and lower all the way down to the floor. Slide your hands forward for Sphinx Pose, your shoulders aligned over your elbows. Begin to press into your hands, straighten your arms to deepen the back bend, and drop your elbows. Press, lower. Press, lower, press, lower, press, lower, press, lower, press, 
lower. Press. Lower your forehead all the way to the floor. Pull your shoulder blades together and lift your entire upper body. So as you lift, your hands will lift, shoulder blades and elbows pull up. Lift, lower, squeeze. Engaging your legs as well, squeeze. 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 Three. Two. One. And relax, extend your arms forward. You'll keep your forehead on the mat as you raise your hands up just a couple inches off the floor. Lift, lower. Lift as high as you can, lower. Abs stay engaged here. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Go ahead and release your hands. Bring them all the way to your low back in a clasp. As you inhale, pull all your shoulder blades together. Lift up, look directly in front of you. Keep squeezing. And release. Bend your elbows slightly. On your next inhale, lift up, look forward, hold here. Keep pressing the tops of your feet down into the floor. And relax. Engage your glutes and your hamstrings. Squeeze your heels towards one another as you lift your legs. And on your next inhale, lift your chest as well. Hold here, three, two, one, release. One more time, on your next inhale, lift your chest and your feet at the same time. And relax. Press into your hands, all the way back towards your puppy pose. See if you can work deeper into your puppy pose this time. Maybe you bend your elbows, taking your hands in prayer position. Release up to seated on your heels. Go ahead and swing your legs in front of you however it's comfortable to bring yourself to lying on your back. You'll want your knees bent and your heels as close in towards your hips as possible. Check and see if you can get your heels close enough to your hips so that you can touch your heels with your fingertips. Engage your glutes, press your hips high, keeping your shoulder blades down. Hold here in this hip bridge. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release and counter stretch by pulling your knees in towards your forehead. Give your knees a big squeeze and release. Level two, come back to your hip bridge. Maybe you take your hands in a clasp behind your back to open your chest and allow more room for your hips to lift higher. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Release your hands, release your hips, and give your knees a big squeeze into your chest. Level three, time for wheel pose. Take your hands up by your ears. Lift your hips first, then press into your hands, lift your head from the floor. 
hold five four three two one tuck your chin towards your chest and gently lower down as slowly as possible once you're down counter stretch by hugging your knees in towards your chest and relax if you're ready for level four set up for your wheel pose once again this time lifting the shoulders and the hips at the same time let all your air go and on your next inhale press into your hands lift your hips high hold five four three, two, one. Tuck your chin towards your chest and gently lower all the way down to your back. Hug your knees into your chest one last time. And begin to rock yourself forwards and backwards. Have fun with it, give your back a little release. Go ahead and come up to a comfortable seat. Take a big roll in the shoulders, deep breaths in and out. Bring yourself to a kneeling position with your shoulders aligned over your hips and your hips aligned over your knees. We'll begin to work into camel posture, working towards a king camel. Go ahead and watch this first time through, then try with me. You'll take your hands to your low back or your glutes to press your hips forward. Step two, take your hands to your heels for camel pose. Step three, allow your head to fall back if and only if this is comfortable on your neck. Step four, release your hands to heart center. Step five, extend your hands and allow your hands to drop all the way to your mat. When you're ready to release, you'll engage your abs, bring your hands back to heart center, sitting your hips back as you slowly lift your head all the way up onto your neck and over your shoulders. Now take a moment to bring your attention back to your breath. Go ahead and set up to try with me. Only take this as far as your body will allow, even if that's standing with your hands on your low back. So here we go. Begin to press your hips forward. When you're ready, you'll take your hands to your heels for camel pose. Step three, drop your head back. Step four, hands at heart center. Remember to keep your abs engaged. Step five, extend your arms above your head, your fingertips down to your mat. To release, engage your abs, press your hips forward, hands back at heart center, and slowly lift all the way up. Take a moment, bring attention back to your breath, and allow your spine to neutralize. As you recover from that intense stretch, Go ahead and watch on screen how to get into the next step into the full King Camel posture. Step one, hands on your low back, press your hips forward. Step two, hands to the heels. Step three, dropping the head back. Step four, hands at heart center, extend the hands, and to work into full king camel, you'll scoot your hands up as close to your knees as possible, eventually dropping your elbows and possibly your forehead to the mat. This entire time, you want to squeeze your glutes and keep your abs engaged. To release, hands back to heart center and slowly lift all the way up. I'll go ahead and replay that one more time if you like to watch or try with me. Hands to your lower back. Find yourself in camel. 
Step three, lower your head. Step four, hands at heart center. Bring your fingertips all the way down and scoot your hands up as close to your knees as possible before dropping your elbows. Keep your abs engaged and your glutes squeezed to protect your back. To release, engage your abs, press your hips forward, hands to heart center, slowly reversing the motion all the way back to seated on your heels. Take a moment here, breathe deeply. Sink your hips back into a widening child's pose. Allow your chest to fall between your thighs. Lift up so that your knees can come close together and reach back to bring your hands around your heels. For a counter stretch from all that back bending, we'll find rabbit pose. Your forehead stays down. You'll round your back and lift your hips as far from your heels as possible. Gently release. Go ahead and swing your legs around one way. Bring yourself to seated with your legs in front of you with a slight bend in your knees. Take your hands at your knees as you press your chest forward and exhale round back. Press your chest forward. Then you'll take your hands and interlace at opposite elbows below your knees as you allow your forehead to drop to your shins. Gently release all the way to lying on your back. Keep your knees bent with your feet wide and your knees towards one another. Close your eyes and slow everything down. Bring the soles of your feet together and allow your knees to fall wide. Extend your right leg up and bring it across your body for a gentle twist. Return to center. Now extend your left leg up and bring it across your body for a gentle twist in the other direction. Return to center, soles of your feet together and knees wide. Go ahead and extend both legs long for a traditional final Shavasana. Take one hand to your belly and the other hand to your heart.
Feel free to stay here as long as you like or make your way to seated. We'll close off this practice with a final breath together. Big inhale. And exhale. Bow forward in gratitude. Namaste.